Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Supreme Ruler 2020. We're playing as South Africa. We're going to see how long we can actually uh, do this for before... Oh wow, we have seven. Okay, so... <clears throat> then I'm just starting out now. We're going to see how far we can actually maybe get with this. And um, let's produce a couple of tanks. And engineer would also be lovely. Um... So, uh, yeah, what else is it producing? Tank, a couple engineers and stuff. That actually looks not too bad, so we'll leave it on its production way. Now, as far as that goes, I would like some multi rolls, but a bomber is definitely going to be um, a good idea. So we'll make three cheetahs right off the bat. Do we have any navy? Oh, we have a navy production. However, we don't have much in the naval fabrication at all. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, we'll create a couple patrol supports. Queue a few of those to get those building. We'll build some naval fabrications. Once I figure out the economic status of my country, um, South Africa. Now, the unfortunate thing with South Africa is nobody likes us really all that much, except for uh, currently uh, Botswana. So we've allied ourselves with Botswana, even though we could probably take Botswana in about two seconds. We'll ally ourselves with them for now to see what happens. And uh, less solo, less 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 Otho doesn't like us at all. So I expect war with them, but thankfully they don't have much to uh, really offer as an offense. Same with Swaziland, they don't like us very much either, and I don't think a war with them would kill us too badly. Um, however, I don't want to anger the UN quite yet, plus I don't really know what our situation is like militarily. We have a lot of militias and stuff, as well as um, these. We don't have very many tanks at all. We have, what, four or five tanks, I think, and I think most of them are Cape Town way, so uh, we don't have very much forward uh, defenses currently. Um, I would like to organize the Air Force right away, if that's a possibility. We don't have very much Air Force either, as you can see. Um, but that is reserve and deployed units right now. We have a, like a bunch of engineers and light infantries, <clears throat> as well as many uh, Rattel IFVs, which aren't too bad, and Rattel 20s, which are again not too too bad. Um, we have no tanks at all uh, current, and our air force is uh, quite bad. We have a bunch of we're just not that good a shape right now. Um, military-wise, so I don't really want to go to war with anybody quite yet, because uh, my military is just not ready to um, do anything that would really do anything at all. I would like to organize my offensive air force, though, and I'm going to organize them here, and that's a transport. So I'll send that back. That is a seeker patrol. Okay. Um, that's not an air force base at all. This... That's a patrol again. Again, we don't have very much as far as an Air Force goes. Also, my <coughs> land units are trying to reorganize themselves in a way. Um, do we have very many? We don't have very many airfields at all. Uh, what do these guys have? They have a engineer and a militia. It's not all that scary. Let them tell them to come at me. What are they gonna do? Bite me? Nothing there. Wow, that's our entire Air Force. Our entire Air Force currently is two jets. Ye friggin ha. Huh? I want to take over with this left, uh, left solo. I hope they get pissed at me very soon. Because we can easily just landlock them. Like, if they go to war with us, they're basically screwed in the head. Um, yeah, but as far as everything else goes, I'm not sure what happens in Africa. I've never played as an African country before. So uh, let's see how our production is doing and what we're losing money in and what we're gaining money in. So agriculture currently is okay, water is okay, timber is not, petroleum definitely isn't, we should build some of those. Um, coal we're going to need to build some of, metal ore we're doing okay in, uranium we're doing okay in, power we're doing fine in, consumer goods we're going to need more of, industrial goods we're also going to need more of, and military goods we're going to need more of. So let's build a bunch of those three. So we're going to build a bunch of consumer goods. Four, to be exact. Build a bunch of industrial goods. Again, 
four to be exact. Now the unfortunate thing with this is that each of these take each other really to build with the exception of military goods. So we're going to let these two build first and then build military goods because if we don't we're going to be screwed. And um, because the military goods are going to want to take all of the consumer goods, the consumer goods are going to want to take a lot of industrial goods and it's just going to be a big mess. So yeah, Manchura, sure, we don't hate you yet. In Milan requested. We are going to do a lot of power trading. I can see that now because apparently we have a lot of power that we don't need because our population is 44 million people. So, um, yeah. So industrial goods we're going to need a lot of. You can tell, yeah, the demand already went up a hell of a lot. Consumer goods haven't yet, but they will. And uh, military goods won't at all because we're not doing anything with military goods. So, yeah, let's lose all of our money in industrial good building first and then we'll build some petroleum and military goods it's funny we're actually profiting on military goods currently um yeah but nothing right now is how are we producing it if we have no agricultural that doesn't make any sense we only have six fresh water and we're already producing more than enough that's actually pretty good what else do we have things in we have seven petroleums we have 24 coal we're barely meeting coal. Uh, we're meeting metal ore pretty well. Uranium again, meeting pretty well. We're going to do a lot of trading with that, I can tell. If they decide they want to build nukes. Should I enable nukes? I don't know if I have them enabled or not. Uh, how do I enable them again? I forget. I got them in here somewhere. Medium, avoid, initiative. Initiative what? Global rules of engagement. Initiative to start a rule of engagement? Let's do it medium. Loss tolerance. Us? I don't know. I'm just going low. I have no idea. I'm not that good you know, with this. Oh good, we need some petroleum. Um, with this, I, I have no idea. I'm just going to leave that at normal. Um, initiative to start a war or initiative to attack? We'll keep it at medium because that seems to be... Lost tolerance, we'll keep that at low. I think that's for them, and like if they lose a city or something, they get pissed. I think that's like Partisans and shit. Uh, that's not it. That's not it at all either. Mm, let's wait, there it is. Use of nuclear weapons on. Nuclear weapons are now a thing. Now, let's see who's killing each other. Is anybody killing each other yet? Yep. So we're on Shattered World too, by the way, which basically means that Europe is a fuck fest of death. Um, England will take over Paris, no problem. Uh, Belgium usually, usually survives the initial attacks, but I have seen them die. Same with um, the Netherlands. They seem to like lose everything, but still somehow pull off a win um, and not die. However, since I'm not in Europe, it's going to be a long, hard-fought battle for most of Europe because nobody ever seems to give up and lose. They always seem to fight on, so... With the exception, of course, of Serbia and the Serb Republic, they seem to die pretty quickly, and Belarus seems to get its ass handed to it because it wars everybody around it. So, yeah. And Moscow it just goes to war with every other Russian nation because they want to reunify it, and they fail miserably. And over here, of course, we have South and North Korea killing each other, and North Korea seems to be taking a good hit on Eastern Siberia. However, it, no matter what, they, don't, they aren't going after the capital. It makes no sense. You think they would set up a defense perimeter? to keep the Eastern Siberian military from uh, moving back down and taking this land but and taking the capital with an initiative force, but they're too stupid. The AI in this game is really, really retarded. And look at all of this. Look at this. This is all Chinese. Northern China and Manchuria. So many boats. Ridiculously large navy. Although the Americans, they don't really have a big navy, to be honest. Mutual defense. Botswana is under attack by Morocco. I don't have a big initiative on Morocco. We'll wait till they declare war on somebody else. Who can I be friends with? Does anybody like me around here? Mozambique, do you like me? No. Nambia, maybe? No. Nobody likes me. I literally have to go to war with the entire African continent because nobody wants to be my friend. Do you want to be my friend? You kind of want to be my friend. I don't know if I want to be your friend, though. Angolia, I don't want to be your friend. I want to kick your ass. I don't like you very much. Whoa, why are you... Who are you declaring war on? Why did I ally myself with you? I could have kicked your ass. 
Oh well, the uh, if they declare war on enough people and shit, they uh, am I gonna be the bad guy? I'm gonna be the bad guy, aren't I? I'm literally going to be allying myself with the bad guy. Let's see this angle. You like me? Yeah, they like me. I'm literally going to be the bad guy. Wow, that's unfortunate. Um, Congo, they kind of like me. Who's this? India, yes, we need money. Oh wait, was that buying fresh water or selling fresh water? God, I was buying. Uh, I am literally going to be the bad guy. Well, all right, that's fine. It's okay by me. I'll ally on myself with everybody that's uh, fucking evil on this entire continent. And we'll be the bad guys. We'll see how long that actually lasts. I've never actually played as the assholes yet. So we'll ally ourselves with all the assholes. I don't even know who all of the assholes are. I think Ethiopia is one. Oh shit, no, never mind. Somalia? No. Kenya, definitely not. Uganda, no. Sudan, yes. Uh, I think Egypt's one as well. Goes off. Barcelona, offered money, wants fresh water. Let's up our economy, come on! Hurry before they decide to shoot each other. Are they at war already? No. These guys will go to war and it's the longest war ever. Like, it's so ridiculous. Like, they'll just bombard each other's capital. They won't, like, make any moves on the capital or anything. Because they have no troops to move with. Like, the African continent, like, is as terrible as this does sound. And, like, as people are going to be like, oh, you're so racist. Like, the only capable military country at the beginning is South Africa. It is the only country that can put up a fight against anything that isn't African. Like, no military here at all. Um, Kosovo already died from Serbia. Wow. Um, like... And the only other countries that are militarily inclined would be like northern countries, like uh, Egypt is, Libya fairly is, Tunisia kind of, Angolia kind of. They're just big, to be honest. They don't really have much military. Morocco, yeah, kind of is. But as, as far as the rest of the continent goes, it's fairly militarily crappy. Like, I could literally just sweep the entire southern and central Africa with what I have now and come out okay. Um, it's honestly not that difficult because the African continent is just a wasteland of jungle and desert. Um, it's pretty bad. I don't even think Angola has a big military. Then I have a fur my ally. They're pretty good. Who's this? Zambia. Does Zambia like me? No, kind of. Zimbabwe. I just want less, less though. Less, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm starting to hate me more and more. <laughs> I'm just hoping eventually that it's like kick my ass offered they want money i'll take it for now i ran can i be your friend no, don't like me what's up syria how are you doing you want to be my friend no i bet you five bucks israel wants to be my friend oh no egypt maybe i know they're kind of the bad guys i know syria's an asshole jordan somebody with oil be my friend I don't give a shit who it is. I just want somebody with oil to be friendly to me. I ran. You have lots of oil. Although we don't like you. Iraq. Free trade? Oh. Yes. Free trade. Egypt. Free trade. That's like on the line of free trade, though. They would like hate me otherwise. Let's see here. Formal alliance? No, I don't think so. Didn't think so. Mutual? Oh, hey, okay. How much do they want me to pay? Offered. Money. Fresh water. Want? Good. Okay, our economy is rebounding again. It's going back up. Counter offer. Mutual defense by Iraq. See, I can get an alliance with them if I accept this, which I want because they have oil. But they can't really help me if I get a Attacked, unless it's a northern country. Fuck it. While we have the money, we might as well throw it around. Um, nope, it wasn't you, it was Iraq. Iraq. Now, do you want to form an alliance? Damn. Cunts. My site treaty. I want a non aggression pack. Let's see what. Oh, we do that. Non aggression. Hmm. They're going to want money for that. Let's see what they want. If they want low enough, I'll take it. I know with embassy, it's like 100 mil. Okay, so our economy's rebounding at 9 billion, so that's good. Um, yeah, fuck that. Uh, reject. 
Oh, I really want that. We have free trade with them and uh, mutual defense. That's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Okay, what do we have? We have two patrol, three patrol boats, four patrol boats that are just kind of floating around. Do we have any more on this side? No. So we're going to have to build some naval fabrications and get some naval contracts. Do you have anything I want navally? Navally? Uh, wow, unknown. They have nothing for boats, really. They only have anti-tank and air defense. Wow. They are pathetic. Botswana, what do you guys have? Boats? Nothing. Madagascar, you are a frigging island. You must have boats. You have transports. Oh, hey. That's a big boat. Uh, amphibious assault designs. Okay. Europe. What do you guys got? England. I know you guys have to have something. There we go. Destroyers and cruisers. I don't want carriers. Uh, I can build the Invincible. That would cost me way too much money. We'll do the Manchester. How much is that going to cost me? $72 million. That's it? Can we equalize trade value? Five. And there we go. $202 million. And then we can start building a navy. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. I like naval stuff. However, we can't really build a navy until we uh, stabilize our economy. I don't. I want to know when the economy is going to stabilize and stay where it is, and then we can start building up our military. It's going to be boring for the first couple of episodes. Just uh, like to get that through to you guys, uh, because we have to build up and get ready to go to war with everybody. Because we are literally going to go to war with everybody. Um, it's going to be kind of messy, and I don't know how long it's going to last because I've never actually gone in as the asshole before. Because Botswana's already not a UN member. Angolia is close to not. Congo, though, is still is. Sudan is our ally, and they're starting to kind of move away from it. Somalia. Djibouti. Ethiopia hates us. Uh, Somalia. You guys aren't the assholes. There was an asshole up here somewhere. It was on the Ivory Coast. Oh, that's the United Nations. Hello. Coke to Ivory. Oh, you like me. Okay. I want to get his alliances with as many as I can, just so I'm not having about 20 nations up my yin yang. Oh, cool. We can make alliances with a couple of these coastal nations. I don't want to make alliances with Toko. Benin doesn't like me. Nigeria. You like me enough. Free trade. Damn. Hmm. Okay, let's just go form an alliance for now. I don't really need much out of you. I just need to know that you won't kill me. No, Central Africa hates me. Cameroon, you guys. I knew you guys were the assholes. I knew there was something about you guys. Mutual defense. Botswana by Egypt. Declare war on Egypt. We don't want to do that yet. Not Egypt. Not now. Uh, offer, request, money. But money. I don't have very much money. Not yet, anyway. Build faster. What's this? Bahrain. Requested agriculture. Again, how do these people are like, oh, you guys have agriculture. We don't have any agriculture. Where is it coming from? It makes no sense. Is like the people itself just giving to the government? Am I a dictatorship or something? I know I'm not a dictatorship. I'm a democracy. I'm the, like, the only dem democratic nation that is actually democratic. A monarchy. Swaziland monarchy. I, I'm sorry, I like that. It's hilarious. I don't know how it is. Oh, they're... Oh, okay. Why hasn't Botswana decided to go through me yet and go after them? They could take their capital in about two seconds. That makes them not like me. That makes them not like me. Even more. Yay. Botswana attacked by Libya. Ooh, I don't like Libya that much. Libya would be a hard take, though. I don't want to declare war on these guys yet. Go to war with somebody close by us that sucks, like these guys, or these guys. Oh wait, these guys are already at war with you. These guys aren't. Go to war with these guys. Are you allies with these guys? No, you're allies with the people I hate. Cool. Lovely. It's always nice. Always nice. So our economy is stabilizing at 9. So let's put some military guys. I can tell you this right now, we're going to need it. Let's hope our economy stabilizes at about five billion dollars or so. With these being built, yeah, it's gonna go. Holy shit, that dropped a lot. 
Never mind, I think we're gonna go into the negative, actually. That's not good. This series could literally end just as it begins. That's probably a dumb idea. Go back up! Yeah, there we go. Alright. So we're still losing money, but we're still kind of moving around and gaining some and doing some trades with agriculture, which is good. It's a good thing I got agriculture right now. It's pretty static. Even though it's unfavorable, it says. Fresh water as well. Again! It... Uh, how? <laughs> Four, six, seven, seventeen. I'm surprised we're not doing any trading with that, is it? Oh, it's okay. Poor and favorable, so. Uranium will trade a little bit of Electric power, we're making a lot of money on. Like, a lot of money. Industry goods, we have nothing. That's where we're losing all our money. So once those industry good things build, we'll be making money again. Because that's where we're really losing a lot of money. Like, consumer goods and stuff, we're not. And we're actually making money on military. So once those build and we actually start to, you know, have the ability to produce our own industrial goods, we'll be okay. Um, so those are close to halfway done. So that shouldn't take too, too long. Um, I might actually cut this episode in half. I don't know how long I've actually been recording. I can't tell. Um, I'm going to say roughly about 17-ish minutes. I think I started recording around 1, so... Like I said, these episodes are going to be a little bit longer just because it takes a long time for stuff to happen on this. Oh, there's another one of our fighters. I knew we had another one somewhere. Are we putting them there? Yes, we're putting them there. Okay. I knew we had something somewhere. I knew we were totally screwed. Oh, I think we're still there. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going there. Little patrol boat. So cute. See, Mozambique again, like, this is all land I could have in five seconds. It's just that everybody would want to kick my ass. Madagascar, how are you guys doing? If I could get a good landing on Madagascar, I think it'd be good. Uh, yeah. There'd be nothing to attack me. It's just that it would be a tricky takeover. I don't have any carriers anyway, so... I guess I should just be thinking mainland. Does anybody else have anything that could go against me at all? I'm kind of curious. I know Britain doesn't have any of these things anymore. How's this going? Are there any war with Vietnam's at war with southern China. Interesting. Vietnam's a hard... I remember one time, just as a side story, I played as China as a whole. And I went to war with um, Vietnam. I was waiting for this. Timber knew it. Um, actually, you know what? I should increase taxes. Hello. Everybody's going to hate me, but taxes! We need it for now, guys. Once we start making some money, we'll be good. I'll just put it back down. But yeah, um, it took forever to take these guys over because I took the capital and they moved it down to this city here. And taking this strip, they just bombard you with artillery and everything. It's just really difficult to take. Uh, despite, you know, having the largest military on the planet besides i think the u.s in fact in fact i think they uh, are bigger than the united states um at least boats anyway for christ's sakes if they have one thing if one thing they do have it's fucking patrol boats like they're not only patrol boats like look at this look at this like so many patrol there's a couple of like you know frigates and one or two um destroyers but for the most part, it's all friggin' patrol boats, and it's so s hilarious. I love it, but... Oh, crap, we're still going in the red. We're still losing money. Oh, sad face. Losing money all the time. What's our capital? Pretoria. Interesting. It's right by Johannesburg. Yeah. Okay. Cape Town. Get down to our other big city, and we have subs there, we'll move out there. Where is our only production of, um, C? Is that over here? Mm, yeah, naval fabrication right there. And lab fabrication too, that's interesting. So all the things that we produce are going to kind of spit out there. Ooh, we're losing money again. Come on, build! Build faster! Build faster. Hmm. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode at that and uh, save this and come back to it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you'd like to see more, leave a like, of course. Leave a comment or something uh, as well. And uh, just, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Peace.